Hello everyone, this is the Angry Hobo here with you today with what is Gary's mod. Everybody knows what Gary's mod it is. It is pretty much a sandbox first person shooter. Well, it could be more than just first person because it's very moddable. Anyways, today I'm going to do a tutorial on F2S Stronghold. While I join the server, I'm going to explain to you what it is, by the way. I know this server has more, but... I don't like the latency on it. Anyway, F2S Stronghold is basically... Um, the way I'd describe it is... You're put into a map that is... You know, s somewhat big. With multiple buildings. So as you can see, as we're jo joining in here... Now, what you'll start out with... When you first start is... The MP5A4 right here. And... The SIG Psy, Psy or P228, I don't know how to pronounce that. And as you can see, our, I have 80 C4 because I accidentally uh, screwed up. Ow, that was loud. I accidentally screwed up and bought 80 of them. So anyway, but you won't have any HD grenades, but if you want to, you can buy them. So anyway, we're going to start out with the MP5. So, you start out at a random spawn, and you have to run around a bit. You're probably going to die at least one, two, maybe ten. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. One, two to ten times before you can find a base that seems suitable for you. So I'm just going to run around and see what looks suitable. Now see, crossing across, don't cross like anywhere that's... That grassy area over there is just a giant no. If you go out there, you will probably 100%, maybe like 80, 90% chance you will be killed. So what I like doing is just running around the map. And for instance, in here is a hot spot for bases because it, you know, it's a giant tower, it has plenty of places for sniping, and. You see, uh, you see, as a wide open viewing, I'm gonna pick off this guy. Oh, never mind, he killed himself. Oh, jeez, that's a rocket. Anyways, like I said, going through all the bases, you're gonna get killed multiple times. So if we go in here, you can see the shadows are a bit wonky. You can see somebody's. You can hear it. Where is it? I think it's up there. Anyway. Yeah, right here. Somebody has already set up their base right there. And you see, that looks all weird and such because it is a door module. What? Oh, jeez. Hello. <laughs> um, anyway, what a door module is, is a base, basically a team door. It allows anybody, it allows you and anybody on your team to go through it. Okay. Before I get setting up a a base and everything, I'll explain what the F keys do. F1 gives you a basic info, though it's not working right now, it seems. Uh, map voting, I don't think... Yeah, that's, there's no new maps. There's no different teams on currently, because there's only four people on, as you can see. But if you wanted to, you could go to create team, name your team X wagons, whatever you want to call it, MLG, MLG drop scopes 360, but yeah, and then once you create a team, you can manage your team, you can change the password, kick a player that's in your team, or give a leadership to a specific person, and, uh, or you can send the password to certain people, okay, that is the, that is F2, F3 is your, well, box, yeah. F3 is what, where you can see your loadout. Like, see, I can click that, except it won't change, you see. That's because you have to go over to, to your tool gun by selecting it on your, uh, what do you call it, item bar. And right-click and select the weapon crate. Now, just plop that weapon crate down. And you can go in here and change anything. So, say for instance, if I wanted to select an AK-47, then it would allow me to get it because I have a weapon crate. 
But yeah, you can plop this down anytime just as long as you don't have another one somewhere on the map. Okay. Anyway, F3. Again, there's the G-Bug shop, which is, you know, basically the currency on it. And there's tons of weapons, as you can see, the AK-47 and the L96 are already missing, because I've already bought them. Appearance is, of course, where you get to change your appearance. And finance is where, you basically, you can donate to anybody. Uh, F4 is your options, basically, like, you got your... Um, muzzle effects, your detailed explosions, your you got voice track, uh, hit indication indicator, which is basically hit marks or hit markers, yeah. Uh, screen effects, tool gun, blah blah blah, and yeah, that's oh, I accidentally took a screenshot. <laughs> anyway, so that is the F keys. Now, actually, what we were in, what we're in, looks like a pretty good base. So anyway, what you can start doing is, if you hold down Q, what I like taking for a just giant door, is you can take this and just come down here. Now, actually, I'm going to do it from here. Now, you hold down E and you can re rotate, rotate? Okay. You can rotate these pieces. I'll just put it right there. And then I'll put this one. Alright, come on. Right there. And now I can take the door module and just go boom. And boom. And you see whenever I press E, it'll become this lighter shade. That's because it's um what do you call it? It's open. The door is open. Now whenever it's in that state, anybody can go through it, including uh enemies. But it's like how often are you going to let an enemy through your door so it's not that much of a big deal? Uh, I'll just, I'm, I'm not really going to play much of this, I'm just going to show you a small base. Now, uh, you want to kind of try and funnel your enemies into a select... Oh, that was glitchy. Into a select area. You don't really want to have them come into an open space where multiple enemies can shoot at you. You just want to see if I were to go right here. They'd all be funneling. Ah, oh, Jesus, those loud noises. Yeah. Uh, they'd all be funneling right here, so that'd be pretty easy. Or you could just stand right here at the top of the staircase. But, oh, just stuff is popping through there. Anyways, up here as we go, you notice this is pretty big, and there's another staircase. And back here is a good spot for... okay. Yeah, we, we'll get into more of the tool gun. Uh, back here is a good spot to place your mobile spawn point, which is basically, instead of you just spawning anywhere random, you can set this down, and it'll spawn you there. We can set down our weapon crate here. And the repair tool, as you can, oh, flag spike. Uh, the repair tool, as you can see, it pops up with numbers 250 out of 250. If somebody shoots that, it'll get damaged and it'll become a lower number. And you can just hold down click and repair it. Now, right here is an open spot. Somebody could probably bridge up and get us. If even though that's not allowed on the server, you're not allowed to bridge up to people's bases. Um, I'll just close that off because I don't really just want anybody waltzing in. Because people can jump from the other building next to us down onto there. So anyway, we've got most of our defenses, quote un not quote unquote, uh, base basic defenses set up. Now wh what we want to do is you see these windows are slightly open and if you were to stand right here like oh hey oh I see that guy but you know I'm open to basically everybody on the map so what you want to do is you want to take a prop or something kind of center it a bit so I can only so I only have to use one prop 
and keep just a little slat open. See, like that. You know, it doesn't look like much, but trust me, it'll do good. Anyway, we'll set, and then you make something where you can walk up to it. See, oh, oops. Yeah, let that generate, and see, now I can see people, and but they can barely see me, so this is good. Anyway, so you, we also have these spawn points in here, but you see if somebody raided us currently, they could just go up and delete those spawn points and bam, our base would be gone. That's why you always want to have alternative spawn points in kind of spots where people would just pass by. See, for instance, if they were coming up the stairs, they'd look in here. I don't... Some people might look over here, but, you know, they'd come up and they'd be right in here, and they've no, they they know nobody's shot them yet, so they're automatically just gonna continue on because they're like, oh, nobody's behind me, so I'll just continue. They'll probably check around the stairs, so don't put one down there. Now, either they'll probably try to, if they want to be sneaky, they'll go up and kill you first, and then rush down to your spawns and kill them. But if they do that, they'll kill you. Oh, lag spike. Uh, they'll kill you, and then they'll run down, and then they'll kill your spawn points. But you see, you planned ahead of them, and you put a spawn point right there. So now, they're up here, and they're like, just finishing with the, um, the spawn points, and they're like, maybe, I don't know, they're coming back out, or they're checking out their weapons, resupplying themselves. And then they're coming back down then they're like do 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 but then they realize oh I forgot one or either they're coming down the stairs and you kill them while they're coming down the stairs because they didn't notice this spawn point so anyway yeah that's pretty much and it's nice to have a team of usually it, it doesn't matter just having another person on your team is nice um like, for instance, yeah, you can set up your team so that anybody can come in those doors. Anyways, yeah, you see, you can walk out. Anyone can... Sometimes if it gets boring in the base, I'll just occasionally walk out of here and see if I can pick anybody off. Ouch, that is loud. By the way, voice channel. Uh, you, you can press C to change your voice channel. Oh crap, that was a bad throw. Uh, damn it. Yeah. You throw grenades faster than the speed of light in this, by the way. But if you want to change your voice channel, I'll say for instance somebody's trash talking you or people are just mic spamming, you can just press C or V and that'll change the um, voice channel. Anyway, thank you for watching, anybody. It was kind of, yeah. I didn't really get to show you me killing much people because I'm in a rush and I have to kind of get somewhere. So anyways, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Ooh. Oh, I picked off one. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it was helpful. And I hope I get to see you on the server or something. Um, peace out.